there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armel with the Stock Swoosh and reviewing the Stock Swoosh Show Live Trading Room Advanced Trader Tracking for 2020. So this is starting January through the last day of February, which is today. Um, actually, today is not the last day of February, the last trading day of February, sorry, which is February 28th. Um, results so far year to date are 163403. This is with an average trading risk per trade of around 2,500. Some were slightly less, just so you know. Um, but when you're taking trades very quickly in the morning day trading, this is not an exact science. You just get the share quantity you can, but your risk should be close to equal for each trade. So this is an advanced risk. And i um, been keeping the same risk for a number of years here. I mean, uh, honestly, I think once you get comfortable with a risk, that you're better off almost staying with it um, st with to the, just for a long time and then just improve and get better. Um, and I think that I'm just so comfortable, so comfortable with what I'm doing now um, that, you know, I'm just in a groove. Uh, so the, the year has been off to a good start. And with the selling this week, it's been great to short. So if you'd like to sign up, for my course, you are eligible then to join the live trading room. The trading room is only eligible once you do the class. You can email me at Melissa at thestockswish.com or call me at 929 gap Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So right now we're in earnings season. This is the end of earnings season. We've got retail next week, some more retail. And then we'll have second quarter earnings season. There's four quarterly earnings season, and that makes it a great time to trade, specifically gaps. And that's what I focus on. That's what I do. It has also been a very active year. I will say that too. Very, very busy. It was busy this week, and it's, it's just been a busy year. Most of the trades that I do in the trading room are shorts. Some at times I call along, but most of them are shorts, okay? Because the main meat and potatoes class I teach once a month is the bearish golden gap class. So beginning of the year was off. Com was a loser, then break even. BU was a winner to start off the year. BU has been a great winner this year. Tesla lost first trade, big winner the second trade. WBA failed, SPY and Q's were two winners. KSS was a winner. That was a nice gap. Foot Locker lost. Six lost. The first trade, the retake worked. And then EXAX was a nice winner on the 13th. Wells Fargo lost. JP Morgan Chase lost. Off on the 15th. Apple was a loser on the 16th. Spy was a winner. Q's was a winner. And Apple was a winner all on that one day <coughs> on the 16th. Then on the 17th, the Spy won. Q's and IBM was a loser. Closed on the 20th was Martin Luther King Day. UAL was a winner on the 21st and no trades on the 22nd. That's rare, but sometimes there isn't anything that rates well per my system. The Diamonds lost in the first trade. Second one worked, and CMCSA was a big winner on the 23rd. 24th was DFS, winner. 27th win lost in both the trades. DFS was a small winner. SPY was break even, AAL lost, and the SPY was a winner on the 27th. 28th MMM was break even. Second trade won. PFB was a winner, both trades. That was a good day. AMD was a winner on the 29th. Facebook lost on the 30th. Microsoft lost on the 30th. Cree didn't really go anywhere, small gain, and DD was the big winner on the 30th. And then the end of July, we had WWE, which failed twice. CVX worked and Facebook then finally worked on the next day on the 31st. No trades on the third, Disney, loser. Microsoft, big winner on the 4th. MRK was a loser on the 5th. Ford was a winner, and Snap was a big winner on the 5th. TWLO lost. QCOM lost, and Microsoft was a winner on the 6th. Goose was a loser, Marvell was a winner, and T2 was a nice winner on the 7th. Then Lily lost. T2 won, and Twitter, big winner on the 10th. 11th was UA was a loser. First trade, second one winner, and the Qs were a winner. Lyft was a winner on the 12th. NTAP was a loser. Cisco loser. NTAP was the second loser. That just didn't work at all. 14th was Yelp lost. Cisco won. EXP was a loser on both the first and second trade. And then the third one finally took off. Uh, that was a wild one. Swung, swung, swung up, swung down. CAG was a winner on the 18th. The 19th was a spy in Apple. Two nice ones. 20th was a wild day. LB did not work. Six did not work. Apple did not work. The Spy did not work. BA was break even. MS was a winner. 
six. Next trade was a loser. Viacom was a winner. AAN was the big winner for the day. And Stamp was a winner. So that was a very active day on the 20th. Viacom lost FSLR1 and BA1 on the 21st. 24th was AAL. Nice winner. EXAX won on the 25th. T uh, Toll was the winner on uh, the 26th. And then Spy was a loser. Q's was a loser. Microsoft was a loser. AAL was a loser. This was on the 27th. AAL was break even. And CCL was a winner. Spy was a winner. Q's was a winner. BA was a winner. And BA was done twice. That was the day that the market collapsed on the 27th. That was yesterday. And that was just a, a really, really, really crazy wild day. BYN Day was a nice winner today on the 28th. So an advanced trader risk is around 2,500 on average. Some trades were slightly less because again, you want to make sure you get in very quickly, but just know that your risk per trade should be the same or close to the same every trade you take for consistent results. You cannot vary your risk every trade. That's how you stay steady with the results. So if you take two trades and two are winners and one's a loser, you'd be up. If you end up taking three trades with all different risks, you don't know what results you'll have. You can't oversize yourself and then that one will be the one that loses. Even if you take one or two or three trades that win, you could still be down. You have to have the same risk every trade, okay? I teach that and go over that more in the class. But trading is something you can do to make more money for yourself and you learn how to do it through me in the Golden Gap course. Next class is March 21st and 22nd. 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Cost of the class tuition is $69.99. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. If you want to sign up, you can email me at melissa at the stock swoosh.com. This is the class dates for March, so put it on your calendar. The combo deal is $74.99. You save if you do the trends two classes for one price. This is a good deal. And then you do the Saturday, Sunday, and then the class on Tuesday. Okay? This is a nice deal. If you're interested, you learn the long-term trends as well. So this is a new year. It's a new you. Tomorrow's Leap Day. 2020 has started out huge for me in the stock swish, and I'm very interested to see what the rest of the year brings. When the opportunity is there, I'm definitely spotting it. That's my job. That's my job 100% to find the opportunity and spot it when it happens and when it sets up. And I've been doing that all year for myself and my clients. If you're interested, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great weekend, everybody.